Hey guys, it's Jack here, and welcome back to another mod review. Today we're doing the furniture mod review. We're going to be reviewing X-Line's furniture mod. So, with that being said, I say we kind of get into it. Alright guys, we're going to kick off this mod with the first feature that comes with this mod. That being, curtains. These curtains come in various different types of colors, and honestly I think brings a nice little aesthetic to the game. These curtains also do block out sunlight that comes through your windows, and can make your home a little bit more of a homey feeling. Next thing is window frames. So this mod brings in different types of window frames, from heart-shaped windows to T-shaped windows, and even sliding windows that slide up and down and open. I think honestly this is quite nice as it kind of varies from your normal glass panes or glass blocks. Not only that, these windows can be made in various types of woods to match your house. These windows come in oak wood, birch, spruce, jungle, cherry, even the nether woods, and bamboo. Honestly, I think it's a really nice feature when it comes to house decoration in a sense, and you're just not limited to what you're normally limited to with normal Minecraft with windows. Next feature with this mod is shutters. So the shutters are kind of like the curtains, except they're not made of wool, they're made of wood. Not only that, the shutters can be made out of all the various types of wood, ranging from the normal overworld woods, such as oak, birch, spruce, jungle, and dark oak, as well as the nether woods. Which honestly I think is really cool, um, so if you don't want to use windows, but would rather use shutters, you can. And I, I honestly think it's a really cool feature. Next up is the actual furniture. So with X-Line's furniture mod, obviously it's kind of in the title, it adds furniture. So the furniture that this mod does add are tables and chairs, are honestly the big ones. Various tables can be made from various types of woods and materials. Not only that, you can not only have normal tables, but you can also have stripped oak tables, stripped log tables, normal log tables, and even glass tables and those various types of woods as well. For the chairs, the chairs are the same thing. You can have stripped chairs or normal wooded chairs or even log chairs. Not only that, the chairs can be padded with cushions, which can be made with carpet. I think that's honestly a really neat feature, but not only that, the chairs are also interactive, so you can sit in them. Next up is outdoor cosmetics. Now with outdoor cosmetics, the only thing that's really added at the moment are bird water baths and lanterns. Now these lanterns, you can place on the ground and they're pretty much pathway lights. They can be made of stone or brick and that goes for the same as the bird baths. So continuing with outdoor furniture, pretty much we have lawn chairs. These lawn chairs are made of all the various types of woods, ranging from oak to also the nether woods. So whatever style you tend to go with, honestly, you can go with it. Not only that, they're also interactive, so you can sit in them. Honestly, I think they would look really nice around ponds and streams and rivers if you ever want to do fishing or even on docks. So continuing with the last but not least of the outdoor furniture are benches. Benches are pretty much seating that you can also put outside. So you can put them on your walkways, against your house, in front of your house, on your porches, you know, whatever the case may be. These benches can be made in various types of woods, ranging from oak to the new cherry blossom, also with bamboo and the nether woods. Moving on to indoor furnishing, when it comes to storage, you have the dresser. Dressers can be made in all the various types of woods as well. Not only that, they are also interactive and can be used as storage. The dressers hold up the same amount of storage as a barrel. And not only that, you can also place things on top of the dresser, such as lamps, items, whatever you'd like. I think the dresser is honestly a really cool addition to this mod as not only is it an addition to storage, but also it's a bit of a decorative storage instead of just your normal chests or barrels. Next up are the lamps. So these lamps actually do produce light. With that being said, the lamps can be placed on top of said dressers, tables, counters, whatever the case may be, and do not require redstone to be used. All you have to do is right click on the lamp to allow it to turn on and turn it off. Not only that, these lamps come in various types of colors, such as the curtains, which I think can make your home look much better depending on the type of style that you go with. So the next decorative piece are ceiling fans. Ceiling fans ha do have to be connected to a redstone source to be used, whether it be a redstone block or a torch or whatever the case may be. Not only that, they have three different speeds. You have off, slow, and high. And not only that, they can be made of various types of woods from ranging from your oak, bamboo, cherry blossom, and the nether woods as well. Next up is ceiling lights or skylights. These ceiling lights can be made out of all the various types of wood and can be placed on your ceiling. So instead of using glowstone or any other type of light source to be put into your ceiling, you can use the ceiling lights that will place directly under your ceiling. Not only that, if you right click on them, they pretty much turn on. And if you right click on them again, they turn off. Honestly, it produces a good amount of light. I would say probably the same amount as a torch, but I would think it looks a lot more better and a lot more modern than using lanterns or glowstone. Last but not least, we have appliances. 
So the appliances that come with X-Line's furniture mod is a stove, a refrigerator, a sink with a faucet, and TVs and a toaster. Now with that being said, the stove and the fridge and the toaster are not interactive at the moment. They cannot be used. They are more decorative pieces at the moment, but will be updated in the near future where you can actually cook with them and store food. When it comes to the TV, the TV is interactive. You have three different types of TVs, ranging from the retro TV to a flat screen TV, and they can actually be used and you can have the channels changed on them, which I think is honestly kind of cool. So if you want to watch some pixelated shows in Minecraft, well now you can. All right guys, well that's it for this motor view. If you guys like this video and like this type of content, smash that like button, feel free to subscribe. All support is appreciated. If you guys want more mod reviews, comment down below which mods you guys would like to see reviewed. If you guys don't have any, well then I look forward to publishing just the mods that I find. So, but uh, other than that guys, as always, just keep it simple.